I see what you did. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Come here. Come over here. Back up. Right here. Can you, you sit pretty? Sit. You could then have some mathematical sit. Nice boy. That's true. How much every day? It changes every time you don't get more money. We're good there, boy. Though. Good boy. Sit. Okay. Sit. 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 Wait. Wait. He's a drooler. Yeah, so this is um, Little Richard, and he drools way more than any dog here. <laughs> Hides it all up in his lips and does all kinds of fun things with it. Flicks it all over the walls and... So, um, so yeah, we uh, had a good day today. There's a lot going on. It's a bus full of um, St. John prep kids were here, and all the dogs were going nutty because um, the donkeys were out and running all around. And so. But, yeah, so Wednesday, October 24th. Where has October gone? I do not know. But it is slowly disappearing. Sliming up my whole leg here. This cute little butt right here. I don't know if you guys can see him through the packaging. I don't know if you can see him through the boxes. But he's here for he was here for the day. He was here yesterday. He's a good boy. Um, he hangs out a lot with a lot of different types of dogs. Meg does a lot of stuff with him. Loves his car rides. How old is Richard? He was born in March, so April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Seven months, I think. Not really sure. Why have the outdoor feeding stands not been used? Because I don't feel like it. <laughs> is that a good answer? <laughs> Why we're not feeding outside? We have structure, but I just, and I also, it's just, <laughs> it's kind of a pain, kind of. Um, so it's just easier for us with what we're doing and to do it inside. And it's getting colder, and nobody wants to stand outside when it's freezing cold, just to feed dogs. In your opinion, how did the Whittles do today? I think they did pretty well down there. Um, Devin was the one that really monitored them. I think that she said they seemed to do really well, so... They had the fence up so nobody peed that I know of. Or if they did, somebody already picked it up. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's not, yeah, I'm so um, So, so one person won the Mega Millions in South Carolina. Yay, South Carolina. Send money our way. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm, huh, Richard. We need money, don't we? Yeah. Buy a big house and fill it with dogs. What do you think about that? Richard spends a lot of time at my house with my dogs, but Magnus still doesn't like him in the car. So when we go to leave, I can't, I don't want to leave all of them unattended in the car because Magnus makes decisions on his own and he can be a bully. And when I come back in the car, when I do leave them alone, Richard looks a little scared. So it's cute, huh? Go say hello. All right. All right. Well, I think that's just about it. And Carlene looks like she's all ready to go. Is this like a massive yoga mat? I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. <laughs> all right. So sound is on and. Are you mail call? Mail call. Nice. Come here, bud. Yeah. 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 Y
in uh, April, May. My friend and Megan. Yeah, my friend Megan. Megan has a lot of friends with dogs. Yeah, my friend Megan. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of friends. <laughs> I do have a lot more friends that want dogs, so it's good. Oh, okay. What's good. his name? Ah. Richard. Richard. Sir Richard. Sir Richard. this dog in my car. Okay, you wash it, Mike? Yeah, because it, I've washed it over there but last week and no one put it in the dryer. Oh, bastards. If I put it in over here, someone will put it in the dryer and maybe I will, it. because I use it all the time. Okay, someone folded it last time. I'm sure it wasn't you, though. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, so I don't do fold. Yeah, last time I came back and it was awful. I get dressed in front of my dryer. I get undressed in front of my washer. So you may find clothes there. Just put my clothes on the floor. Don't get them mixed up. They're never going to be Because you put dirty clothes in your washing machine They're waiting to be washed? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I said, why do I have, why, why do I need a laundry basket? You got a goddamn washing machine right there. I just get undressed there and I just, you know, and then I get in the morning and I get dressed. Have, have you seen my silverware drawer? No. Why sort silverware on the way in? I just dump it all in and I sort on the way out. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. You still have that nice stuff that we got, though, right? Why? That, that stainless steel that matches the sterling silver. I do have that, yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Uh, got to get up and move, I guess. Okay. Okay. Come on. I guess I'm over here. We're over here. Do you have a water? I have hand of water. Here? That's me. There we go. Ugh. Oh, ho, ho. ho, ho. Catching up on things with Janine. Okay. Joanne Bush had a birthday deal which she asked people to send money to us. $824. Wow. Whoa. I'll tell you. That's pretty good. May she have many more happy birthdays. <laughs> And I wrote that down on my insurance bill envelope. You can have that, because that's her. And what the hell is this? What the hell is that about? I have no idea. Linda, are you still there? Did she go home? No, she's on the phone. Oh. She's on the phone. I don't understand that one. My car insurance is uh -oh. getting canceled because we didn't pay it. I I paid everything, but what the hell? What do I know? And here we have Linda. Oh, boys. Crivets, Wisconsin? I never heard of that place. Here you go. Whew. I love Service Dog Project and everything it stands for. All the dogs and donkeys are awesome and such fun to watch. And all your staff and volunteers are amazing. Sending a check for $100 for a calendar. That must be in. Use the rest of it for whatever you see fit. Okay. So I can put this in there for Linda. And it says on it calendar, so she ought to pick that up. Fine. Okay, next problem. Carrier. No, that's not right. Tell me, Jen. I have several things that will be coming in by mail which are going to be fun to open. Well, what the heck, you know? I don't know. Oh! Okay. That's that thing you spit in. Right? The, the ancestry thing? Oh, the DNA thing? DNA thing, yeah. 
the, you got you got to, you do DNA to find out who you are, and you do a DNA to find out what you're allergic to or something yep. like that. And do both. Don't spend your money on it because you're related to me. <laughs> What else would you like to know? Okay. This is for Betty. It's got some weight to it. Beth, rather. Peachtree Corners, Georgia. It's like Christmas every day. Huh? I know. It's like Christmas every day. It is. It is. Have you been listening to the news? Hey, you don't want to open these things. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, opening. I'm going to move back a little ways. Have you listened to the news today? There's seven... Packages sent to people that are going to explode or something. Oh. Yeah, I, I think they're target. Uh, I'm probably pretty safe. Yeah, I don't think you're one of the targets. No, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think I worry about that. They isolated some people in one of the towns near me because there was an envelope with white substance in it and turned out to be garlic salt. <laughs> well, this is packed. Wow. What on earth? I don't know what's in it. I'm guessing it's change for that thing. Oh, I bet it is. Money. Here you go. Why is it cold? It feels like it wasn't. Here you go. Whoa. Oh my god. It's not look yours. Forward. Look at all those quarters. I know. <laughs> it goes in the heart. Yes. Wow. It's like a gold mine. That's correct. There's a funnel in the bottom. Is there a funnel? You put the funnel in quick before she gets it all over the floor. And there's more in here, too. I don't know what the other thing is. Here we go. This is a brilliant... Everybody's got change in their house. Even I have You're right. Uh-oh. I overstuffed it. We want interesting foam in this one, too. This is, it, this is indicative of my laundry, too. I've overstuffed the funnel. I broke it. I overstuffed the funnel. I overstuffed the funnel. Now you're in trouble. Well, don't throw it on the floor. <coughs> this has got a lot of, she got a lot of this kind of foam stuff. I, exactly I, how I, do laundry. I don't know whether I have a room used for that or not. That's kind of fun stuff. I could chew on this and other poems by dogs. That'd be good to read. There, that worked. Yay. See, there you go. We got more now. That is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. And thank you, Beth. What else do we got? From Peachtree Corners in Georgia. Wow. Yeah, a lot of coins. Is that more? Did we get more coins? I don't know. It says chicken feed. We better, <laughs> we better see what that is. That's a great promise, too. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Fun? Chicken feed. Huh, okay. So that has to go in the pot. And then this has to go in here. That's cute. Wishing you a very successful shatting on November. This little coin purse contains money for four chicken bricks. The rest of the box contains well padded pouch of coins. There's also a little book of poems written by dogs. Some of them are pretty funny. Thanks for all the good work Service Dog Project does for so many. Beth, A.K.A. B I O B C. <laughs> okay, Beth. Okay, so we have four chicken bricks. That's got to go in here then. That goes in there. And this that's kind of funny. Chicken feed. That's what kind does of... B-I-O-B-C mean? What? B-I-O-B-C? B-I-O. That's her name. Oh. And it was like L-O-L. But... I wish I could chew on this. Huh. This, this could be fun to read. That, that could be fun to read. Okay, so that is all that stuff. Now we have this one, Luane, Lu Luann, Bloomfield. This is very heavy. I was going to be more changing, then I have to go. 
See, my, 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 family, my, my family grew up on coins, so... Yeah, you don't know how... You have no idea how important coins are in our establishment. Oh, these are, these are, these are chicken, I mean, pool pickers. I don't know whether there's anything, I don't know that there's anything more. Pooper scoopers. I think that, yeah, the, that, it's up there, the copper. Yeah. That's yeah. what we kept them in. And um, by the end of the week, it would be down to like nickels and pennies. <laughs> At the beginning of the week when he saw quarters, he'd be like, woohoo! <laughs> to this day, when I see quarters, I get it. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I think we'll open this later to see whether there's anything in there besides. Maybe somebody will tell us. Should I take this apart or should I just leave them in there and take them out of there? See that? Got it? No, that's us all. That's all pooper scoopers. That's all. That's all. God, someone worked really hard on that. I know. Well, they, we used That's all, all pooper skippers. Okay, why don't you put that on the shelf over there then? Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, and this is Nancy from New York. Any more change? No, there's no point to that one. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> work here done. Okay. Bye. This is from Nancy. I told you everybody that. Black paper. Oh my word. Some more vests. Devin asked Devin said that they needed some vests. Huh? So Devin said that they needed some vests. Oh my word. There we got them. We got them. The black paper, we don't need the black paper. I'll put that down here. And we have, we have some stickers that say working dog, do not pat. Well, isn't that nice? Huh, Nancy from New York. Nancy Walters. Oh, okay, there you are. There we are. Well, these are nice ones. They're pretty. Very good. Okay, so so somebody asked for those specially. What am I going to do with it? i got to keep this with those. I'll put it in the pocket. Yeah, put it in the pocket, and then tomorrow morning I can tell Devin there's a vest. Huh? Tomorrow morning I can tell Devin there's a vest. Oh, okay. Up here. So you're going to be in charge of those? Yeah, I'll take care of it. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, and then we have... Uh, then we have something else. And I don't know who it's from. Don't know. I have ordered a new heating pad. That might be it. That might be it. Um, I get cold. And Liz is getting cold because we don't have any heat in their room. Correct. Would you talk to him? I left a message. Yeah. You told him it was getting cold. I said yeah. it was chilly. Okay. So here's my, this is my heating pad. I'm going on. Are you going to share? No. <laughs> it's on my bed. Nice. I don't share my bed with nobody. <laughs> that goes over there. Okay. I did that. Here. Okay. You're going to hold that up. a dog bark on the TV. I bark and I bark and I bark. But the dog on the TV never barks back, probably because a lot of celebrities are really stuck up. <laughs> okay. Huh. Okay, well that'd be fun to read. Are you coming in? Are you? Okay. You're doing your questions? 
questions, and I'm getting out of the way. Ah, my fly swatter routine has gotten out of hand. Oh, is this your water? Yes. Nope, that's your water. This is my water. I got another water. Uh-oh. And I get so many. Th these are supposed to be mine, because I bought them specifically for me. Ugh. It went away. Oh, is that a step? No. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Ooh, 32 questions. How did the tea tent get its name? You're the second one to ask me that in two days. The tea tent used to be the iced tea tent. We used to all be drinking Arizona iced tea. And then we changed to sodas and sodas and diet sodas and heaven only knows what we now drink down there. Let's go back to the top. Huh. Oh, the other water was Janine's. Oh. Mm. Hi, Jerry. Any more questions? Oh, here we go. I read about a woman who had two dishwashers, just took clean dishes from one and then put the dirties in the other. That's a woman after my own heart. I like that. What, what's for dessert? With the ice cream. <laughs> ice, cream. ice cream. We got a lot of ice cream. We got a lot of ice cream. <laughs> what type of heating blanket did you buy? I bought, <clears throat> I didn't buy a heating blanket. Yeah. I bought two different things. I bought a heating for under the mattress. Okay, a heating pad. A heating pad under the mattress, which I'll turn on when I be getting ready to go to bed, and then shut it off while I because I'd be nervous sleeping on electricity. Yeah. So I have a heating pad coming for on top of me. This is on top of. I have a, I yeah. Carlene, my son is installing a Mitsubishi unit like you have. Any problems with it? They have been wonderful. We, we, we're we stuck in neutral over here because not everybody in the world can fix them. You gotta get one of these H, HYPP or whatever they are to uh, uh, fix, fix it. Um, th th they are good. Yeah, my brother has one in his garage. He likes it too. I mean, it's just this one, it's just this one that's keeping Linda warm. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. The dogs and I are very happy with the one. You can only run three off one unit outside. So my bedroom, this one here, and the dogs are all on one. one. And these two and Linda are on the other, right. and that one is broken right at the moment. It developed a leak, and so it leaked out mm -hmm. all its stuff. Is the purple yoga mat for the kennels? No. The purple yoga mat was given to us for us to figure out how to give it to people who do things like go to offices or something. And so this is what we've devised. And you just carry it like that, and you can carry it so that your dog has something to lie on in the restaurant or the yep. wherever, hard floor. Hard floor production. So that's what we're doing. I need a little attention on the, on the rope a little bit. Miss Carlene, what is the story behind the three large drawings on the back left wall of the arena? I understand oh. it. It's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's Bush, Clinton, and Perot. We used to, I used to drive eight donkeys, like the Budweiser's, and we did a lot of parades, like one a weekend, all summer long, $1,000 a day I made, usually, for a parade. And we pulled that one, the, the parade in Newburyport, which is that picture on my desk. Right. Um, I pulled those, those Bush, Clinton, and Perot, and I had a fourth wagon behind 
with a bucket and shovel, and I, the sign said they're all full of shit. So <laughs> it was very popular, very popular. Um, the other part of that is that in Salem, I was pulling that whole thing, and Perot lost a wheel. <laughs> so we had to pull a pin on him and leave him behind at the curb, <laughs> which was kind of symbolic. Wow. because That's, that's kind pretty of what much happened what happened. <laughs> it was pretty funny. He did mattress I, I did pad. I myself. You did? I did. So there. <laughs> it's what I realized also, they don't have to be the same on both sides. Right. Because only one, you only see one side at a time in a parade. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Heated mattress pads, the best money I ever spent. I've, I've had people tell me that. Didn't you do DNA testing already? I did, I did the relative part. I didn't do the what you're going to have to deal with. Is being very afraid of thunder a possible contraindication for being able to be a service dog? No. Thunder doesn't happen all the time. If you know thunder's coming, just sit down quick. Since newish CPs are about, please tell your story of the missed opportunity of the she-we, the female potty in a men's room. Ah. Uh. Oh, boys. Well, I had a 4-H club, a bunch of girls, and it just took forever when everybody had to go to the bathroom. And so I ended up taking a bottle, much like this, and slicing it lengthwise, which gave me, basically, a trough. I'm water dripping. That one's dripping. Um, so it did work. We all, you know, I had everybody use it. And they, you know, when we go to a horse show or something, I hauling around all these kids. At any rate, I decided I ought to patent it. So I did run it through the Boston Patent Office, and it passed. And I, was, I had a potential whatever that I could patent and sell whatever. So um, it then the patent then had to be sent to Washington for another I don't know month or something. At any rate, in the meantime, a friend of mine and myself were at the Italian restaurant and we were going to use these and see, you know, show how they worked. So we're both in the stalls and the water is running, I mean, the urine is running into the pot, making the proper noise, and I hear somebody behind me say, look, their feet are pointed the wrong direction. They must be men. <laughs> so that's my story on the. But now they are sold as shiwis. And I think Janine actually <laughs> owns one. Female police people use them all the time. They're very handy. Very handy. Oh, and I, oh, I, no. I missed the patent office in, in Washington by like two weeks or something. Most Somebody, stealing, most stealing yeah. hay. <laughs> most stealing hay. Anybody else? Do we have any food for supper? I haven't seen any. I bet we don't have any food. Is that big chunk? Of, is that a big chunk of ham in there? Oh, it's a big chunk of ham. There okay. must be beans someplace. Let me check the tea tent. There might be some cowboy beans left over. I'll run down and check the tea tent. I think that came up. I will go check. The overnight is dry. There, but there should be a can of beans around here. Okay. Just a can of beans and some ham would be fine. Please move camera and condo before I'm going to bed. Oh. What's this? We have to move the condo cam, I guess. Is it pointing the wrong way? I don't know. Um, I haven't looked at it. We'll check it out. There's a way of having it on the puppies, which is the bit lower bed and right. one upper. And then when you have it on the adult dogs, you put it on just the upper. Is what I've been doing. Dearest Carlene could starve. Right. Carlene, the book The $80 Champion was made into a movie, Harry and the Snowman. It's available on Netflix. Huh. The $80 Champion, that's a jumper, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Did the light bulbs get replaced? No, but we got light bulbs. No, the one, I think they're talking about the one on Puppy Hillside. No. The kennels. Nope. 
No, but I, I, right here that I see somebody bought light bulbs. No, the exterior Puppy Hill light wasn't fixed. Hasn't been fixed yet. But we're making progress. We're getting there. We found the light bulbs. There's light bulbs here. Okay. Right on the table. <laughs> okay. Let's go on a bean hunt. Okay, we're going to go look for something for supper. Everybody have a good night.